suffering a little bit with a croaky know. voice at the time when we recorded <laughs> Again, that. Give yeah. Away, yeah. America's Cup starts Friday night and uh, we can't wait. Indeed, we can't. Neither can we wait to see what the weather's going to be like this week because I think it's going to be glorious, Sarah. It's a it? pretty impressive forecast. Yeah, we've got some lovely sunshine as we've had today and temperatures on the up as well. Uh, we've got some lovely weather pictures as always. So we'll start in Milford on Sea where Nick Woolwalk took this wonderful photo of sparkling seas. Sunshine reflecting on these wonderful little signets here in Hillsea. Thank you, Mark Cooper. And beautiful buttercups on Freeman's Marsh in Hungerford. Ken Rayner took that one. Gorgeous skies in that photograph and so many more weather photographs from you today. Thank you. Here we go then. We can take a look at your weather for the week ahead. And the next few days are looking pretty good. Warm through the coming days. And you can see today it's been pretty decent too. 24 at Middle Wallop and 23s, 22s quite widely across the board as well. Through the course of this evening then, we've got a quiet picture and it looks like we will have dry conditions, maybe some bits and pieces of cloud cropping up, but generally quite a mild one. Temperatures at 11 or 12 degrees during the overnight period. A little bit of cloud then to get the day started for first thing tomorrow morning. And for coastal areas, we could see some low clouds, some mist here as well. But inland, starting to see some breaks developing into the afternoon, particularly seeing some sunnier breaks and temperatures not quite as high as they have been through the day today. But we're looking at 20 degrees, which is still above average for the time of the year. Now tomorrow night is another quiet one, once again staying dry, we stick with a little bit of cloud, maybe some low cloud in parts and some mist and murk at times, but generally a dry and quiet picture and mild again, our temperatures in the teens in many spots. So then for the middle part of the week we do have another start with quite a bit of cloud for some, particularly along the coast, the Isle of Wight seeing some low cloud first thing, maybe some fog, but that should lift pretty readily through the day on Wednesday and a little bit more in the way of sunshine working through during the afternoon. So 22 your high through Wednesday. Now there's a bit of a shift come Thursday because high pressure moves just slightly which means we start to draw in the air from the continents. So a warmer, milder air and dry conditions as well. So through the day on Friday as well we do have some sunny spells, blue skies, lots to look forward to. Those temperatures creeping up into the mid-20s as we work our way towards Saturday looking dry but perhaps a little cloudy with some rain on Sunday. Perfect week of weather and a perfect day today for the 104th Chelsea Flower Show. Yes, nearly 500 exhibitors are showcasing their work from around the globe, including those from here in the south. We sent Laura Trant to meet some of them. I'm in plant perfection, colour and creativity in all its Chelsea glory. And the gardens are created in just a matter of days. And it's very much about this, the unexpected. This firebird was created from 1,500 bronze feathers by Dorset sculptor Simon Gudgeon. So the whole figure flows more. I didn't want to do a traditional solid sculpture. I wanted to make it more... So it actually fits in with the garden more, so you can see through it and plants can grow through it and into it as well. The first ever Chelsea Flower Show was called the Great Spring Show, so it's very fitting that this is Hillier's Spring. They're the most successful exhibitor in the show's history. Can they get their 73rd gold this year? Sarah Eberly, Chelsea's most decorated designer, has won 13 gold medals here at Chelsea. And this is her second year back as the designer for Hillier's Show Garden. The slinky toy of my childhood. They're absolutely amazing and, and they're great sort of stress busters, but they're dynamic and they are spring and we wanted to use that so not only is it springtime in the garden here but there is also the dynamism and the energy of this huge spring slinky through the garden. To have a rose named after Jane Austen is a wonderful thing anyway because she's so popular but this is an absolute cork, it's this beautiful colour, sort of softly spicy scent, I think she should be well pleased with that. So where do all these plants come from? Well Hortus loci based in Hook in Hampshire, they've provided 40,000 plants to 11 gardens here at Chelsea. Joining me now is Jamie Butterworth, the show plant manager. What a mission, Jamie. Absolutely sounds really scary when you say it like that. I'm like a proud parent at the moment, looking at all my babies that I've been looking after for 12 months now and to actually see them in the garden at Chelsea it's just so rewarding. Really. And in terms of the plants that are here this year, what are the trends you've been noticing? 
So there's a, there's a few trends this year, and one of the main trends is that all the gowns are actually really unique. Normally at Chelsea there's several gowns that are actually quite similar, but this year this isn't the case, which is actually a really good thing for the public that are visiting. Andrew and Gavin's garden here is is just stunningly beautiful. You've got the plants like the Centranthus lecocchii, which I think has to be one of the plants of the show, the Dianthus carfusionorum, which has a bit of shocking pink to it. And as you wander around the showground, there are a lot more of hot, bright summer colours actually in spring, so things like geums are back, which is, which is really exciting. Laura Trant, BBC South Today at Chelsea Flower Show. Oh, they look great, wow. didn't they? That last couple yes. standing there. Super day I there. thought Laura might have been wearing that. Well. They're rather nice. <laughs> Good look, yeah. <laughs> That's it from us. Thanks for watching this evening. More at 8 and 10.30. We're back tomorrow at half past six. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.